Hello everyone, welcome to the second part of our series um, that explains how to use Amazon Comprehend in an external application with the API keys and that's what we're gonna do today. So normally we have the um, documentation for Java, Python and .NET but I wanted to do something with JavaScript, Node.js, so that's something that I'm going to do for today. So to begin, I will use Repelect to show this demo. Um, but before I start, I will create a launch file, so that's going to run the program. So I'll just do add file and just dot Repelect. Cool. So now this is going to carry. Um, something like run equals node index dot js. That's it. So now what's gonna happen every time we run our program? Let's say console dot log AWS Amazon comprehend demo. It's gonna come up. That's it. So that means that this code, this entire console is ready to be used. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do, so let's try and find out all the text analysis APIs and we're going to run them through in our demo and see how it looks like in the console. So this is important be because before you actually combine this in a fully functional application, which could be a voice application or it could be a graphical application that's a web application, it's important that you actually learn how to code this stuff out. So that's why I thought to make this separate video. Um, so to get started, let's first navigate to the console and see what are the API keys that we've got. So we're gonna hit on Amazon Comprehend and then we're gonna go to, what is Amazon Comprehend? And here we can see something called text analysis APIs. We've got detect entities, we've got detect events, detect key phrases, detect dominant language, detect PII, label documents with PII, determine sentiment, analyze text, topic modeling. We've got so many of them. So we're going to try to capture some of them and test it out in our code, which is in Node.js. So to begin with, we're going to get back to the console. And the first thing that we're going to do is include these. We need the AWS um, SDK, so it's going to be AWS SDK, and then we have to um, create a configuration file that will create the credentials of our AWS account. So for that, we're going to do AWS.config and dot load from path, sorry, that's capital, path, and this will contain dot slash config dot json. Um, so it's going to be a json file that we're going to be creating in here. So it's config to json. That's it. So here we're going to pass in our AWS account access key ID and secret ID. So that's important, else this is not going to work. But before that, let's set up the code. So now we've included the AWS SDK. It's going to package up and it's going to run well. So the next thing that we're going to do is do var comprehend equals new AWS dot comprehend and then we can just open up braces this and here we're going to put the api version which is quite important um which is going to be 2017 11 27 that's the latest version and you can put in your region in here 
um, which isn't quite mandatory because we're going to put the region inside of config.json so that's not quite necessary then we're going to do var params here we're going to pass the parameters so in the previous video we learned what these parameters are so they're going to be language oh sorry language code which is en and we're gonna have some text hola this is sohini from double lab and today is a good day all right so that's the text and that is all then we're going to pass this inside of our comprehend dot detect. Let's say we're going to do sentiment analysis. So we will do comprehend dot detect sentiment. Then we're going to do params. Um, and then we're going to do function. And then we're going to pass this error and data so data is going to contain all the information um, that we need quite well um, so so here it's going to be it and if it is err if there is an error then we're going to log it so we will just do console.log and we're going to find out the error so we're going to do error and then err dot stack um that's it and if not then we're going to find out the data which is going to come up on the console so here we've got data that's it and we got to give another semicolon in here so this is for successful and this is for non-successful so i guess that's it and i just made a small mistake this is going to be capital c and yes, yeah, so now we haven't given in the configuration credentials, so it's gonna throw up an error. Hmm, it's installing. So by the time it does that, let's go to our console and find out our keys. Um, so we're gonna sign in, then we'll go to my security credentials and okay so now you've got the access keys so this is my access key which i'm going to delete after this video but just for explanation i'm going to use this so for that i can but unfortunately i will not get the secret access key now so i'll create a new one and i will download the key file that's it and I will make the first one delete. So just give me a second. Delete. Alrighty. So now we've got this and this is our root key. So now we're gonna open this. So now before I actually use those access keys, I've already copied something for you from beforehand. So this is the structure and these are the entities that we're gonna be needing in our JSON file, the access key ID, secret access key and region. So now we're gonna copy paste all of the data that we just downloaded from our security credentials. So this is supposed to be my AWS access key and this is supposed to be my secret um secret access key make sure that you don't have any spaces before all these because last time i did that it gave me an error all right the region is going to be us east one and that is what you can see just gave in an error that we don't have the config.json we don't have the things configured so that's why it's undefined and that's the configuration file that's ready our code is ready and now what we're gonna do is just go ahead and give this a try so i don't know why it says loading so let's just wait for a couple of seconds let's do a refresh 
Alrighty, that's it. So let's first, all right, so it's entities now. Let's first try it for entities. So we're gonna hit on run. And those are the entities. So you can see percent, Sohini, you can see organization, double lab, and you can see datas today. So you've got all of these just in this. So we can just go by and try each one of them. Um, let's say, let's try to do for detect events. So I think we can only do when we try to do a batch operation for this. So I think normally entities detect entities as for single documents. So let's try out for this one, detect key phrases. Um, here you go. So I think what we're gonna need to do is just copy this part. Go in there. Phrases. And just give it a try. Cool. So now it has given us a couple of key phrases. So the score is one for text double up. And this is it. It has given us a text today. And again, text is a good day with the offset and the begin offset and the end offset with the score. So this is the other thing that you can do. You can also find out PII entries, uh, personal identifiable information entries, and you can do lots. So what you can do is just in the same piece of code, you can just go ahead and try out all these um, several methods, and you can try to find out the responses for each one of them. Um, so that's how you do it. Um, well, that's all for today, friends. Um, in our next tutorial, we're gonna integrate this in an Alexa skill, and that's gonna be super awesome. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.